because chances are you've been told more than once, beauty starts from within. But can popping a pill say all these vitamins be good for you? Well, will it really improve what you see in the mirror? Have a look. Forget eating your veggies. How about popping a pretty pill for better skin and shinier hair? That's what the latest trend flooding Instagram would have you believe. Celebrities and reality stars alike are peddling so-called beauty supplements like candy all over social media. The claim? That special blends of herbs, vitamins, and other nutrients can stop the aging clock from ticking. Could it really be so simple, or is it all too hard to swallow? Let's talk about ingredients that people think may help them but actually don't. So over here, there's HGH. This is human growth hormone. The second one is this amino complex with collagen. And then the third one is elastin. And all of these, I think if you even do a Google search on your phone for beauty supplements, you'll find them right off the bat in pill form. And like you said, you know, with supplements, interestingly, they're regulated like foods. So they don't have to show any studies about their safety or their effectiveness to make any of these claims. HGH in pill form has never been shown to affect skin or wrinkles. And interestingly, it can have a lot of side effects. It can increase insulin resistance, speaking of diabetes. It can cause joint swelling. And it can even sometimes be pro-growth in a very dangerous way. So people who don't have true deficiencies of HGH really shouldn't be turning to this as an anti-wrinkle or anti-aging supplement. Um, the next one, the amino complexes with collagen, again, not regulated. So remember that anything that you take as a pill like this is actually going to be digested. You're going to put it through the acids of your stomach. So it's going to be broken down to its constituent parts, like the peptides and the amino acids. So it's not sort of magically transported back to your skin to give you that collagen back. And elastin isn't even made in your body after puberty. So taking elastin is really not going to do it. much. But Dr. Batra, I, I just picked so. this up off the shell and it says it provides scientifically advanced <laughs> ingredients designed to internally hydrate the skin and this premium for formula is going to lock in moisture and smooth the skin it says that right here so it's clinically tested clinically to increase smoothness tested. moisture and elasticity so, so the thing is so nobody is regulating these claims, <laughs> right? So you can basically put whatever you want on a supplement as a claim. What you have to prove is in some way it's been adulterated, meaning that it's actually like a harmful product or that they're trying to make a scientific claim. But a lot of times what they'll do is they'll actually take like an ingredient, like say vitamin C and getting onto like the three so, things that so actually So let's talk about help. things that, yeah. may, that may help, but so, we're talking about the real deal. You're getting the right product here. What are, what are these so, that are gonna maybe help? So, so kind of getting onto the real deal, these are things that at least there is some data and there are some studies, but to your point, you could have just one ingredient. You really have to be very skeptical when you read the label to make sure that those are the active ingredients as opposed to the inactive ingredients. Look for the filler look to see if it has sugar. But these are three things that actually have data behind them. This is biotin, which is a B vitamin, that actually a study found recently that women who are experiencing hair loss, 38% of us are deficient in biotin. And it's also actually been studied in people with genetic conditions of their hair and nails. So this is when you can look for at least 2,500 micrograms or 2.5 milligrams and feel like, okay, I'm taking something that's giving me a building block that's actually This should help, help with hair and nails. Hair and right? nails, exactly. Perfect. And then the second one here, vitamin C. I think everybody talks about antioxidants now. This one is really well studied because it does offset free radical damage in the skin. It also is one of the factors that's necessary in the production of collagen. So it helps catalyze, it helps make that actually happen. So rather than thinking you're going to eat collagen, it's going to magically appear in your skin, this is something that will help you make it yourself. And then the third thing are omega fatty acids, the omega-3 fish oils, which also we're talking about good fats. You know, now we're coming to understand the cell membranes and the barrier function of the skin. This will actually help also decrease inflammation. It just provides a lot of aspects to help you restore that seal of your skin. So there is actually data behind it, but you have to be such a skeptical consumer. And this is what drives me crazy as a dermatologist. Well, I think we're gonna agree for sure that the, the best thing you can do for your skin are the same things that you can do for your overall health, and that's Absolutely. good diet, exercise, maintaining a, a healthy weight, trying to minimize stress, get plenty of sleep. Those are the things that definitely... Those well, things put together are pretty sweet. Yes, they are, <laughs> and very powerful. Stick around, everyone. More to come.